So where did the idea for this delegation come about, or how did it come about? My whole thing was when I, when I wanted to do work with El Salvador through CISPIS, I figured it'd be, for some reason I thought it would be Salvadorans doing it, so when I went to summer camp for the first time I was like, you know, spring goes everywhere, so. <laughs> I was thinking of a way to, to bring in more uh, Salvadoreños, Salvadoreñas and into the organization, specifically youth. Everyone's definition of uh, where you're from is, is different. Hearing him talk about, you know, giving his rationale as to why that kind of delegation was important obviously struck a very strong chord with me because it touched on a lot of issues that I myself um, had to go through as a young person, a young Salvadorian growing up in the United States. I grew up, my parents didn't teach me anything when I was all All I've learned is on myself, you know? Like, he was in left of my life, and when I get back, I'm definitely going to ask, like, more about that because he hasn't really told me much. First, I never knew anything about San Salvador. I never went to the beaches or anything. And not even about politics. Like, I didn't even know like we had problems with the U.S. You know? There was a reason why it took me 20 years to come back. Because a lot of stuff happened here for me, for my family. I'm not too familiar with the country myself. I'm still this is almost a learning opportunity for myself. It's almost, I'm coordinating the delegation, but I'm also a, a delegate in a way. Los sembradores de maíz en plena selva extranjera. With it, the dual identity that we have of having Salvadorian roots, but being born and raised in the United States, like what our role is, what our unique role is in both social and political movements. Because we thought it'd be awesome um, for when we have kind of like our get together with folks in Cabañas. TLC está robando de nuestra gente y de nuestro y de nuestra tierra. Y es, y es uno de los culpables que trajemos como Pacific Rim aquí a robar solo, no es solo de nuestra gente y nuestra riqueza, pero nuestros recursos naturales. That um, we have like a, a banner from the delegation um, that has like a message from us to them, kind of like in support of like their struggle against mining, but also a, a message of our solidarity with what's going on. It is important to, for them to know that like there are people who are trying to do things still and like legitimately like working towards like um, like fixing the situation. A entregar correspondencia. Ajá, hemos conectado Uh, Isabel Luz Abarca. Romeo Gomez. Ever Alvarado también está preocupado. Jose de Seattle, Washington. Milton de Seattle, Washington. Gustavo A. Hernández. Justin Cortez de Washington. Y Ovidia Rivas. Gracias por estar aquí. Realmente para nosotros es muy importante, es muy motivante que ustedes estén interesados en nuestras labores. Mis hermanos. And I think that my hope is that this is just the beginning, this is the catalyst um, that politicizes a lot of the folks that are on this delegation. That's, that's what I'm, I'm hoping is going to happen, that folks take this journey and they build their relationship with everyone that's here, they build a relationship with their al the al our allies that are here, and go back home really inspired and are ready to do some work.